In this session, we are going to talk more about Exadata. Specifically, we will look at Exadata components. So more on Exadata at a technical level. By now, you must have understood Exadata is complex system, but it is built by Arakin. So that complexity work, the main work, right? Uh, is taken care by Oracle for you. But to effectively understand Exadata, you have to understand uh, the building blocks of Exadata. There are many components in an Exadata rack, like uh, we have database servers, we have storage servers, we have infiniband uh, switches, infiniband cables, ethernet switches, ethernet cables, KVM switch, power distribution units. So that way there are many components, but um, the primary components, the main components uh, of Exadata include uh, the database servers, which are also called as compute nodes. Storage servers, also called as Exadata cells. And the infinite band network, which interconnects all the servers together. So these three are the main components of Exadata. Database servers is where we deploy database instances and the storage for your database is provisioned provided by the storage servers. And each storage server comes with uh, some amount of storage. So if you need a storage, you will add a storage server, not uh, just uh, a bunch of disks. So when you add a storage server, you are not only adding the storage, you are adding proportionate amount of CPU, memory, and the networking resources also. Exadata is available in rack format. It is uh, shipped in rack format. So all these components that make up Exadata are arranged into the rack. So this is uh, the rack. Now, uh, this is how an Exadata rack looks like. It's a very tall, and uh, in terms of data center terminology, it is called 42 unit rack. So inside this rack, you have all the components nicely arranged and uh, organized and configured by Oracle. So these are all pre-configured, pre-installed by Oracle. You just purchase it, and this is how it looks like from the front view. This is the front view, door open, and inside that we have all the components. These components could be your database servers, storage servers, infinite band switches, Ethernet switches, power distribution units, everything. All the components that make up Exadata are inside this rack. Now you can see one of the server pulled out. These are all blades, okay, blade servers. And uh, you can see the server chassis is open. You can see the standard hardware of the server. And depending on the configuration, you will have many servers inside, many database servers, many storage servers inside the rack, depending on the configuration that you purchase. Now, just to give you the physical placement of all these components inside the rack, in the middle, uh, we we will, okay, Oracle will put uh, infinite band uh, switches, and uh, immediately below and above infinite band switches, we will have other switches like Ethernet switch, KVM switch, okay? And immediately above and below, we'll put the database servers. And uh, above and below database servers, storage servers are uh, organized in, okay, uh, housed. So that way, there is a fixed order for all these components to be housed inside this uh, rack. So though it is not very important for you to remember this order or understand, sometimes when you get a chance to physically inspect uh, the Exadata rack, especially when you get into data center, you can see, you can understand what is each component. You can locate and easily identify which one is which component. 
if you know this ordering, if you understand this ordering of the components inside the rack. Now this is more okay um, cross-sectional overview of this uh, front uh, view of the exadata rack, uh, which gives you more detailed uh, placement of all these components. Okay. Uh, so you can see each component and uh, its location in the rack. So as I told you, no need to worry about all these uh, ordering and all that. Just uh, be aware, uh, just know this, okay? In case if required, you can use this knowledge to understand and locate all the components inside the rack. More than us, the hardware team need to know this because they are the one responsible for hardware replacement or management as required. Suppose if a server fails or switch fails, the hardware guy gets into the data center. Of course, it is none other than RT. So because the hardware is managed by RT, any hardware failure, any software failure, it is the responsibility of the RT. So if any server fails, any disk fails, any switch fails, Oracle guy will come and replace with the new part. So those guys need to have good idea of all these uh, components under their locations inside the rack. Uh, 